So I brought you something, right? This is pretty simple. It's the return of a portfolio depends on its systematic risk. You should maybe recognize this equation. Right? I mean, it's the cap M, right? This is just what the cap M says. And my paper actually says that this relationship is wrong. Right? We say that the systematic, that the return of a portfolio does not only depend on a systematic risk, but it also depends on how investors feel, and we call that investor sentiment. Right? In other words, we're going to try to prove that this is, in fact, the right equation for return of portfolios. And we say that systematic risk is not the only factor which determines returns of a portfolio. All right? So, very simple outline. We're going to try to grasp the idea of the paper. So, how are we going to prove this? Then we're going to go into the regression model. And in the end, we're going to discuss the results. All right. So, what do we need to do? We first need to understand what is sentiment. How do I measure how people feel? I mean, this seems like a very difficult question, but they actually take a very simple approach to this. They just say, all right, let's try to find an index which tells us how people feel. And this index is basically just an average of, of different, different numbers you can observe, right? A very intuitive is share turnover. This means if many people buy shares in a given year, we say people are excited about you. Right? Higher share turnover tells us that investors feel better. Right? And another, um, another numbers that they put into the index is, uh, relate to IPOs. I think they have six factors in general, but um, it's the same concept. So when we have understood how investors feel, when we have defined sentiment, we also need to define portfolios where we can look at returns. So this is the second thing we need. And what they do is they look at all the stocks which are traded on the New York Stock Exchange and they divide them into three parts. And they use one measure to divide the entire market and it's the dividend to equity ratio. Right? And with this I get three portfolios. I get the portfolio of stocks which have the highest dividend to equity ratio, that's the top 30% you see up there. And I, see, I get the portfolio with the bottom 30% dividend to equity ratio. Why do they do this? Well, the answer is, we say that if I have a stock which has paid a lot of dividends in the past, it is pretty easy to value, right? Because the value of a stock is a dividend discounted by the risk-adjusted rate. <coughs> However, if I have a stock which has never paid dividends, which is in my bottom 30% portfolio, <coughs> this stock is very hard to value. Right? This is the Teslas of the stock market. Right? If, if, a, if a company has never paid dividends before, I don't really know what to put in my dividend discount formula. So what is our hypothesis? Our hypothesis would be that for, mm, for the first two portfolios, the sentiment is not that relevant. Right? Those are the stocks that are easy to value. Right? I have the numbers from the past. I can use them to actually estimate the values of the stocks. However, with this bottom 30% portfolio, the Tesla stocks, sentiment is actually very relevant. Right? And the idea is that if people are really excited about the stock market, they will overvalue those stocks. And if they're not excited, they will undervalue them. And this actually gives us the idea for our regression that we're going to use. Um, so let's go on the time axis. Right? And this is year T minus 1. And this is year T. Let's say that in year T minus 1, sentiment is very high. Right? So all people buy stocks. Stock share, share turnover is really, really high. Average first day return on IPOs is really high. What would we assume happens in the next year? We would assume that returns for our bottom 30% portfolio go down. Because people realize they've made a mistake. They were too euphoric about it. Right? So if I have very high sentiment, people buy a lot of stocks, they actually buy too many. This means in the following year, we will see degrading returns on our bottom 30% portfolio. Right? Everybody understood? 
Good. Because now we come to the regression model. This is the y variable. The y variable is just the return of my bottom 30% portfolio minus the return of my top 30% portfolio. Okay? And the first number that we have, or the first variable we need in our regression is the beta zero. What does that represent? It represents our cap and beta, right? So if the systematic risk of those portfolios differ, then this is captured in our, in our beta zero, right? So if one portfolio has a different systematic risk, then returns should differ, right? And now comes the interesting variable. This is our beta one. This is our sentiment index. Right? And then we have some controls in the okay. And on the next slide, I actually tell you what beta one is in your estimation. What should it be? Should it be negative or positive? It should be negative, right? High sentiments lead to low returns kind of next year, right? <laughs> and here's the result. Okay. Zero, minus 0 0.5. So the important thing is the minus. And it's actually very significant. So it's significant that a p-value of 0, 0, 0, right? In other words, we've shown our hypothesis, right? And this is where I come to my conclusion we actually showed that returns do not always depend on the risk of a stock, but they also depend on how people feel about the stock. Pretty simple. But this is actually a very, has actually important implications on the stock market, because this actually tells us that market timing matters. Right? I need to consider if I'm at a good time in the market or if I'm at a bad time in the market. Right? If I think about IPOs or if I want to like issue a bond, this is very important. And Maybe my f f last and, and most favorite thing is that actually communication matters. Yeah. So how I present myself, how I present my company, how people feel about my company is an important factor in the returns uh, of my assets. Thank you very much.